Hey, what's going on guys, Nick here. And for those of you that don't know, incandescent bulbs have recently paved the way for some rapidly evolving lighting technologies. What all started with heating filaments has eventually evolved into passing current through ionized gas like we see in fluorescence, and most recently using semiconductors and diodes in LEDs. However, a team of scientists at ASU has claimed to create a technology that marks even the most recent breakthroughs in the lighting industry irrelevant. Let's check it out. The team at ASU has created a laser that produces pure white light that claims to be brighter and more accurate than even the best LEDs on the market. While technically the laser doesn't produce white light from the get-go, it employs clever use of nanomaterials to combine color from three different beams of light. Lasers essentially work by concentrating light over and over again until it emerges into one very powerful beam. It shoots trillions of photons or light particles through a narrow path of entry that's between two mirrors. Each photon will bounce around and off the sides, exciting one another to release light as well. This process goes on indefinitely until you open up a very small hole at the end where an extremely concentrated and coherent shaft of light blasts through, sometimes capable of shooting miles into the sky or tearing metal as if it were paper. They've also been an incredibly sought after R&D interest for lighting companies as they're incredibly bright, powerful, and efficient. That being said, the great thing about this research is that a functional prototype exists that can produce enough light that's visible to the human eye, and that for one is a huge step in the right direction. As you may expect, just like the pixels on your computer, the scientists had to combine the red, green, and blue color spectrums in just the right amounts in order to produce the white light. Because of that necessity, as if that wasn't already hard enough, a semiconductor laser had to be developed that could access any part of the color spectrum at once. That being said, it was a difficult process that eventually found fruition with just the right nanowire alloy. The laser's largest selling point is that it can compete and oftentimes outperform even the best LEDs. It has a wider color range and claims to be more accurate and the scientists say that that's just the beginning. However, before we get our hopes up and start imagining a future of super bright and super cheap lighting, the technology needs to be refined. Its current power source is that of a conventional laser and not a battery, which is what's required if you want to see that stuff in your house. That being said, I think we should give them some time because this is an awesome technology and you know I'm going to keep you guys updated. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>